wonderful to be here and it's grateful for you to see me. I thank you very much. Um, I feel like I'm a great big star, just nobody knows it yet. Uh, I just want to um, say for those of you who still don't know me, my name is Robert. I used to be an actor. Uh, I was in a famous drama series that ran on BBC Two for about 10 years. Just a few years ago, we were quite successful. Um, for those of you who do know me, that's a lot of rubbish, but I, uh, I, I don't want you to tell the others, I'm trying to create a good impression. Um, is there anyone here from uh, Thailand? Any, any Thai? Any Thai people? Swadika? Anyone? Hello. Uh, one of the things I've observed as uh, being a Westerner and coming to uh, a church which is uh, predominantly um, people from Southeast Asia, Pacific Rim countries, is that you find that uh, a lot of uh, differences in custom, culture, attitudes. And one of the things I found about Thai people is they tend to be very, very polite. And uh, I'm so grateful um, that they are because British are also known as being polite. So, for example, um, today when I was coming into the main auditorium, uh, one of the Thai brothers, Aaron, actually opened the door for me. And he said to me, after you. Now, not to be outdone, me being British and uh, seeing it as a slight on my character, said, no, 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 after you. So then he turns around to me and says, no, after you. So I said to him, no, after you. So this went on for about three or four minutes and I started to get tired. I said, are you going through the door or not? And he said, no, after you. At that point, I hit him and threw him through the door. So I won that one. And that proves I'm more polite than he is. So... Uh, he can't be outplanting me in my own country. Thank you. Um, is there anyone here from uh, the Philippines? Any Filipinos? <laughs> Filipino dealing? Hello. God bless you. Um, yeah, I, I, the Filipinos, again, a wonderful group of people. I, I've observed that they have a very great uh, emphasis on family. Uh, family seems to be very important to the Filipino community. And I think that's an admirable, admirable quality. Um, me, myself, though I think the one redeeming feature about my life is that I'm actually from a member of a family. Uh, I'm not that bright, I'm not that educated, I haven't done anything, but I am a member of a family. Thank God for that. Great. Uh, I, 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 um, I, I say that with uh, a little bit of um, caution. <laughs> All part of the act. Um, I say that with a little bit of caution because uh, my family is a little bit crazy, a little bit dysfunctional, a little bit weird. Uh, my, my, I'll give an example. My, my grandmother, she has piercings on her hearing aid. Uh, my, my, <laughs> my, my grandfather, uh, he died when he was a small boy. Think about it. Uh, my father is completely insane. Decided to buy a summer house and a winter house on the same street. Uh, he doesn't like to travel too much. Um, Okay, and uh, I just want to say uh, hello to all the uh, students in. Any, any students? <laughs> Overseas, God bless you. Good to see you. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm really happy to see students. I used to be a student many years ago. And I think if you uh, come to London, especially from overseas, it's such a daunting city. It's such a great big metropolis. There's so much to take in and absorb and have to deal with. And it's not easy. I have a friend from Indonesia, his name is Yoko, came here to study uh, English maybe three or four months ago, and poor Yoko, he's only uh, a very, he's a country boy from a very small village. Uh, the village is so small, it has like one cow. It's, it's, it's a really, really small, really small village. So he's never really dealt with the big city before, so London was, a, oh, London was a real big deal for him, you know. He came to London for the first time, and he just didn't know what to do with himself. It, was, it just, just totally blew his mind. Uh, I met him in Piccadilly Circus. I said, what are you doing? He said, I'm waiting for the clowns and the acrobats. And, uh, and then I... Let me get in. Uh, I, 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 I then saw him the next, a week later and he was lost in Harrods. I said, oh, And uh, he was on the fourth floor in the men's wear section, couldn't find his way up. Uh, Yoko decided to start a fight so they could throw him out. Um, I then met him in... I then, I then met him in Trafalgar Square by Nelson's Column. Uh, Yoko was there with some birdseed and a cricket bat. Uh, when I got to him... When, when I got to Yoko, he thought he had a pretty high score, but I had to move him on. Um, but what I found also uh, with students is it's hard financially sometimes. And uh, you have to cope with uh, finance and it, it's very difficult. Uh, Yoko, God bless him, 
decided that he would try and save some money, so he found his local pizza shop and they had a special offer on. The pizza shop said, uh, if, we can, uh, uh, if we don't order your pizza within 30 minutes, this pizza is free. So Yoko rang them up, ordered the pepperoni, then put the phone down before he uh, gave them the address. Um, <laughs> but again, shopping can be quite difficult in London. I found that quite difficult as well. Um, you know, the other day I decided to go to a convenience store. This particular convenience store was only open uh, between the hours of 11.30 at night and 1 o'clock in the morning. I thought to myself, this is not too convenient. Um, so I was going around the shelves of this store and then the manager came up to me and he said, uh, get down from there please. Um, I decided to buy a bottle of HP sauce and I'm still paying it back at 3p a week over six months. Um, I, uh, I'm still not sure what to do about Christmas and buying presents for Christmas. But I found that uh, Morrison's, the shopping trolleys are at one pound. They're a very good deal. I've got six in my back garden. Uh, thank you very much for listening.